But when I s said that I can lit a candle in the darkness, it, it comes from the, the, the feeling that we, we, we as a society have become a society of complainers. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the problems with public education in Detroit. We'll talk about the, the problems with kids' behavior and, and things like that. But, but all we're doing is defining the darkness. Okay, we have a responsibility to, to be a light in that darkness. Okay, there, there's no game of four square that's going to get a kid out of poverty. There's no basketball going to get a kid out of poverty. Reading and math will get a kid out of poverty. Well, we get very serious and we talk to them, we read a Bible story talk to them about Jesus, uh, we pray with them. Prayers are always, they're always fun, they're always interesting, because it's not like praying in church. Here, you know, uh, we, as we get their attention, you know, fold your hands and bow your heads, you know, it's quiet time here. Um, but as I pray, you know, I pray a little phrase, and uh, then they repeat the phrase. And then I pray a little phrase farther, and they repeat that again. Mostly they come in, we do um, some stretches. They have a Bible time, usually with Pastor Funky, if not with one of the teachers. They have a snack every day. And then we do two shorter days and one longer day. On the shorter days, it's usually reading, math, homework, and a rotation. On our longer days, we um, add to that, we add fine arts, some, any kind of art. and some music, um, but more art, and they love it. And here in the last couple of months, uh, I was one of the students said, well, can I pray? And, oh, how wonderful that is. You know, yeah, you may pray. The students really do come in from the whole spectrum, from families where they attend church and they know quite a bit about God and Jesus as their Savior, and other ones who maybe have a big idea sometimes of a God who's waiting to catch them. My son has been a long way from home to be in first grade. He now knows how to read. He knows the, um, the true value of God. So I highly recommend anybody, anybody that's getting kids are doing good or bad or struggling or ahead, this program is a one in my book. And I think the first one, the most, the most in, important one, is that we have reversed the process of failure. The assessment starts with when they first come to us um, at the beginning of the year. We do what's called the Dibbles testing, and it's a nice benchmark for us to gather exactly where they're at, and then from there, we can move forward, and we can go ahead and move into um, the Lexia program, which is what we have that are on our iPads, and they absolutely love it because they can log in, they have their own portfolios, which is beautiful, so it's a very nice tool to be able to use to teach them independence and accountability. At the beginning of the year, they're at one point, and they're a little bit apprehensive, and they don't exactly know what they're doing yet in school, and then you see this transition that starts to happen around December, January, and they're more comfortable, and they're more confident, and they're more willing to want to take the time with each other, and you can see just the character of Christ just exude from them. They want to share more. They want to just participate more and pull each other in and mentor each other, and that is just a beautiful thing. My daughter, Tamashe, she was struggling in third grade from the loss of my mom, as well as her not really enjoying school at the time. The I can helped her out a lot. And now to this day, she's at Cass Tech, which is one of the, the top schools in Detroit. So I, I know that this program has really helped her progress. We had one parent who came in and she was very grateful and thanked us for teaching the kids the Easter story and the events leading up to that. Her son went home and then taught her and told her all about it, and she said that it had been years that she had thought of Easter as anything but bunnies and candy, and she just really wanted to thank us for that.